I've been using the term parameter and argument. I think it's time that we kind of get into what those are a little bit. We're going to need this information when we start talking about these parameter sets down here. So when I have something with a dash on it that modifies a command, so here's the update help and then I have a dash source. This dash source is called a parameter. Parameters always have a dash in front of them like that and they will follow a command. So here's the update help command and then the dash source parameter. Now some parameters also require further modification. In this case, if I'm going to update help from some source, I need to tell it what that source is. So that is called an argument. So an argument modifies a parameter and a parameter modifies a command. So um, when we get into the parameter sets, we're going to see parameters and then we're going to see arguments. And uh, we'll have to keep those terms very clear and make sure we use them correctly and consistently. Uh, by the way, uh, notice here I have a couple of notes on this argument to specify additional information about the parameter. Parameters always preceded by a dash, and arguments are not preceded by any special characters. So you notice this argument here has no dash or anything else in front of it. So arguments do not have any special character in front of them. Also, there is always a space before the parameter and before an argument. So we have to make sure that we have this space here before any parameter and before any argument. Sometimes when you see these things written or typed, it's not clear where the spaces are. So you have to have the capability of looking at that command and seeing uh, where the parameters and where the arguments are and knowing uh, where those spaces need to exist. Uh, and that way you can interpret written or typed uh, commands uh, yourself without having to say, well, is that a space or is that not a space? You just need to know where they're supposed to go, and that helps a lot.